Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Welcome into On Deck. The Atlanta Braves have finally gotten that contract extension they've been looking for, and it's none other than General Manager Alex Anthopoulos. And I know some of you guys are waiting on an extension for Max Freed. Hopefully that's to come soon, but this Alex Anthopoulos extension does not need to go unnoticed. The Braves extend AA through 2031, and guys, if there's anybody that deserves an extension, it is Alex Anthopoulos. He has had quite the impact since arriving in Atlanta in 2017. He was Baseball America's Executive of the Year following the 2022 season. He has finished as runner-up for Major League Baseball's Executive of the Year Award in each of the last two years, but arguably the best season he had was 2021. That was the year that the Braves did, of course, go on to win the World Series, but it was also the year that saw the most transition. He turned a team that was under 500 at the All-Star break to a team that won the World Series, mainly through the trade deadline. He traded for future World Series MVP Jorge Soler, future NLCS MVP Eddie Rosario, and of course Jock Peterson, who had quite the impact as well. All of these players were a major factor in the postseason. They were all obtained at the trade deadline by Alex Anthopoulos and the Braves. He followed that year with back-to-back -back seasons with over 100-plus wins. Again, if anyone deserves an extension, it is Alex Anthopoulos. But to me, the reason Double A is great, he's not alone here. The working relationship Double A has with the Braves, with Terry McGurk and the Braves executives higher than him, is nothing short of extraordinary. Not every team has it. It's not always common. And the fact that the Braves have it only helps them move forward. And in today's press release, Braves chairman Terry McGurk kind of commented on that relationship, saying, quote, there is simply no one better in the business. That was, of course, about Alex Anthopoulos. The other key here to me, when you think about what the Braves do, when you think about how they operate from a you know front office standpoint, they sign a lot of players long term to cost effective deals. And a lot of that has been Alex Anthopoulos. You think about Ronald Acuna and his salary. You think about Ozzie Albies and, frankly, the minimal deal we have him on right now. You think about obtaining Matt Olson and immediately signing him to a long-term deal. Same with Sean Murphy. You think about Austin Riley, a guy that's probably a franchise player for any team. They locked him up to a 10-year deal as well. Michael Harris recently. And who knows what's to come with Max Freed. We'll wait and see. But navigating the problems has been, you know, a key factor in Alex Anthopoulos' tenure. You lose Freddie Freeman. That's an event that would have sent a lot of organizations into a rebuilding phase. Alex Anthopoulos had none of that. He immediately went and got Matt Olson. You, you look at all of, again, all of the transitions. You look at, to me, Alex Anthopoulos' keystone moment is the 2021 trade deadline. But every move he makes makes sense. They don't all result in a World Series. They don't all result as well as 2021. But even when you look back at 2020, you know, the fact that AA was able to have patience and hold off on trading away prospects for a starting pitcher, which at the time we had lost Mike Soroka. At the time, we were desperate for a starting pitcher. AA held off. He wasn't trading our prospects for, for nothing. And he went out and he got frankly, cost-effective moves that made sense. They might not have resulted in much on the field. You know, I'm looking at you, Robbie Erlin and Tommy Malone, but he did moves that made sense without giving up what we had. And we're in a similar state right now. You know, yes, we needed a starting pitcher this offseason, but we didn't want to give up Hurston Waldrop or A.J. smith Shaver or Darius Vines. We didn't want to give up our major pitching prospects that could have very well have an effect on this upcoming season or the one after that. But we traded a guy who didn't have a spot in Vaughn Grissom for Chris Sale. That's the kind of moves AA makes. And you can see that the Braves not only trust him, but they believe in him. And with that becomes more money, more success, and frankly, more freedom for the Braves to operate as they wish. And, you know, we'll see how this goes. But with all the long-term deals, Austin Riley, Matt Olson, Sean Murphy, Ozzie Albies, whoever you're thinking of, all of those, they should not play in a Braves uniform without the vision of Alex Anthopoulos being all the way through. 
I'm glad he's going to be here through 2031. I hope that there's success enough to get him another extension. I think this guy has been phenomenal, and uh, I look forward to seeing what he does uh, over the next few years. I look forward to seeing what kind of moves he can add on to this team because right now, for my money, the Braves are the best team in baseball. They might not have won the World Series, but they are the best team in baseball. You look at what the offense did last year. You look at our starting rotation right now. I put that against anybody, and that is in large part due to Alex Anthopoulos. So I made this video today specifically to, to of course, talk about this extension. Uh, and any time we can give credit to Alex Anthopoulos, that guy deserves it because not every general manager is as savvy as him. Not every general manager uh, is able to keep a tight lip on what the organization is doing during high times like the trade market. Alex Anthopoulos has been able to do that. And he could very well bring more success to the Braves than they've ever seen before over the next eight years. We'll see. But this is the guy who had the vision. This is the guy who did not start the rebuild, but he inherited it and was able to turn it into a World Series championship. He's been able to turn it into uh, multiple consecutive division titles. And I look forward to more of that over the next eight years. But I'd like to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you excited about AA getting the extension? I would be surprised if you weren't. Are you excited about the future of the Braves? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you would do me a favor, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date with everything going on here at On Deck and, of course, with your Atlanta Braves. With that out of the way, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here at On Deck. Baseball fans, make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you for your support.